heavy. Bored. Yeah, for sure. This is like very Tumblr core as well. <laughs> So give me that because I'm completely devoid of Tumblr. What is Tumblr core to listeners oh, and myself? Kind of like, you know, that kind of 2012 era that was like, you know, like Skins, that TV show where that was all very like self-destructive, anorexia, drugs, violence, sex, whatever. Gossip Girl, same thing. Lana Del Rey same thing you know all of that was kind of coming out at the same time and coalescing into this aesthetic that i feel was very definitive of the time and obviously this came out before that but i can see why this took off on tumblr because it has that exact aesthetic of like kind of glamorized self-destruction kind of romanticizing your own worst impulses i don't know it fits for me it makes sense yeah I was, we were chatting about this before we were recording listeners and I was saying, I was like, I bet Sykin had some of those early emo records and I bet he was spinning them when he was in college and grad school and shit. Like, I bet he was listening to some of that brand new because brand new's most influential albums were already out while he was probably working on this. Like who were the other early bands that were just like pioneering it to be like a pop, like top 40 band with it too. Like. Oh, no, I really think that, like, I, I re-listened to Deja and Tendu, like, before this pod, just because I was trying to get in the emo mindset. And, like, yeah, even those first lines of the album, like, I'm sinking like a stone in the sea, I'm burning like a bridge for your body. And then, you know, then it launches into, like, Sick Transit Gloria. And, you know, that whole song is, like, it's, the definition of, in my opinion, like sexual, but not erotic. And I think that that is very similar to a lot of the themes in this collection, like in, in this collection, and I think that Jesse Lacey, like the singer of brand new, obviously the lyricist, like, I think that he and Saiken have a lot of similar themes that like in some of the poems, Saiken is like sort of the victim or the one who's having something done to him. In other poems, he's the perpetrator and he's the one enacting violence on someone else. And I think that that is very similar in the way that Brand New kind of talks about sex and violence and like the intersections of the two. And it's interesting now, especially knowing that like, you know, Jesse Lacey got Me too and, you he was know. was like, like the first, right? He was like the first of the musicians to get like straight Me too by like. Yeah, that was a big one. But like, it's interesting because I was always so surprised by people being surprised by it. Because if you actually listen to his lyrics, he's been very honest and forthcoming about, you know, his self-hate and resentment towards himself because of all of this, like, sex stuff. Like, I mean, me versus Maradona versus Elvis is literally about the narrator, which, like, could presumably be him, like, date raping a girl. <sighs> when she's drunk but then like you know then we've got ones like sick transit gloria where he's kind of the one being date raped and like i don't know he clearly has a very dark experience himself with sex psychin does too i like anyway i'm rambling but yeah i absolutely sense the parallels and that that's why i kept saying masculine because i think you just put it on there where it's like there's this like violence it's repressed but then it's like it's it's not erotic. It's like the more tender side of love, but then it's like very shoved through this kind of masculine, like violent, like meat grinder or whatever, like, like uh, not devoid of sex, but like you said, not, it's not like one of like a dirty or erotica type poems or books or something like that. It's it's just very emo. <laughs> emo is the best descriptor of it. Yes. Fuck. Such a lack Heavy. of gratitude for life. Bored. I, I aspire to boredom, Heavy. I should say. Bored. Heavy. I am heavy, heavy, heavy. Bored. Has you the night sweats and the day sweats, pal? Pal, I do.